Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So today is another Tales of 69 Mid Speed Paint. This was day 11 with the theme of Modern Alternative Universe. And this was originally done in June 18, 2015. So it is an older stream again. And well, if you've listened or watched my video on Rivals, you would know I mentioned that the actual challenge is already done. The Twitter account for this of 69 minutes no longer is putting is no longer putting out prompts. So these are just backlogs and I won't have any new pieces for it anymore. So in the future, uh, you won't really see any new Tales of 69 minutes. If ever, they'll just be joint against or me refining the piece a year or two later because I really like the original concept and stuff like that. So let's get down to this. Modern AU, I do slay. Ah. Ah, I really love slay. <laughs> he's such a sweetheart. Uh, of course, he's my bias now, and this was this piece in particular was more of a let let's experiment and try something out type of piece, and I tried to practice pra practice for shortening. Um. I tried. One of the hands turned out okay, but the general pose seemed a little weird now that I look at it. So modern AU, I wanted to just stay as a college student of sorts, or just as a student in general. Uh, and I did try out several things with this, with this piece, not just for shortening. I noticed that when I try something out, for example, I want to try a new technique out, on a piece, I tend to try several techniques out and I don't... Uh, it's a mess. So sometimes when I say, I wanna try out how to do coloring in this style, sometimes I even try a different technique with something else and it's like, oh man, it's not just one thing. So, today. <laughs> today is the protagonist of Tales of Zestiria. In which I've played and oh, I love it. Ganted, I love it, but also I know there are a lot of flaws in terms of the game, and I'm actually pretty sad that it's kind of short. Uh, I before this day I played Abyss, and Abyss had a few arcs going on, so when this day was rolling along, it did have several arcs, but they were very short and disconnected. And you tend to forget that a certain arc was happening after all, only to pop up somewhere near the end. So I love it, and I love the characters, but story-wise, I feel like um, it's a bit, it's a bit flat. <laughs> uh, I love the concept and stuff, but uh, I, but I still love it, so it's fine. You can argue with me all you want about how bad this tier is. I like it, and. If you don't like it, that's fine. <laughs> really, it doesn't really affect me. Okay, where did I go? Yeah, no, one's, no one has fought with me about this thing yet, to be honest. I don't know why I even said that. I've actually sort of learned how to do closed lines at this point. Because if you watch my Rivals video, my my um, lining style was very sketchy and I think I don't know what happened in between the days but suddenly my lines are now very magical one two friendly and that was in a like that was a 24 hour difference only so it's either it's either I, I gained more confidence and I already knew how to do the magic one okay never mind I did the sketch style thing again <laughs> Why did you let me down? 2015. <laughs> Why did you let me down? <laughs> Kidding. But I believe at this point I was starting to gain a lot of confidence in terms of the time and knowing what I can do and budgeting what I can do. Because um, doing the magic wand tool friendly style that I usually do, it consumes a lot of time because you're trying to be precise with you know, where you close your lines, making sure that your lines Con connect and meet so the sketchy style gave me a lot more freedom because uh, 
I didn't need to be precise. I didn't need to con- to abuse the control Z uh, function. But I think I was gaining a bit more, you know, feel for it. So I, I was able to start doing the more precise line work thing. But now that I look that ta- I look back on it, uh, it wasn't really time effective either because I had to trace the lines a bit with the color just to be able to drop it with the fill tool <sighs> either way those are things you learn along the way I guess I should draw Sri again soon I mean I even though I've drawn him quite quite a number of times already I still feel I don't have enough art of him or I don't draw enough art of him Pattern his clothes obviously uh, from his usual clothes since uh, under his his shepherd's coat is actually a pretty nice uh, shirt so I just shortened that made it look a bit more summery and yeah it actually lessened the amount of work the amount of brain work I needed to do <laughs> One thing I did with this piece is I want I, I don't know if I did it intentionally but I made the background match with Stray's eyes which is green so I gave him a then again I've almost always drawn Stray with a foresty background the only time that wasn't true was when I did the the piece when he was armatizing with the clay which I did a watery background I don't know Stray for me is always connected with forests and bright lighting and huh. <laughs> but I do like how I did the, the background here. It's inspired by the the concept of uh, you know how when there's a like there are trees overlapping each other, the leaves are overlapping and then the rays of light sort of filter down from that and you have little spots of light. That was the feel or that was the image I was trying to evoke with the background. Which I should try again sometime. It's it's pretty nice after all. One thing I did sort of screw up with this is I used the green to I, I tried to add the green into the shadows and it kinda made it murky. So I probably used the wrong color of green or uh, I should have mixed it a bit more with the existing shadow colors and not just like pasted it on top. Oh well, you learn. It, it it made it like a highlight ugh so 
So, we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed me somewhat cringing at my color choices <laughs> or my decisions back then. Uh, please like or subscribe if you haven't yet and follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt and I'll see you around.